It's that time of year again when crows dominate the skies of Chatham Kent, but over the last several years, the excessive amount of birds have been dropping. We are dealing, uh, instead of uh, with millions, we are dealing with uh, a bit more than 100,000 right now. Chatham Kent is situated where two migration paths cross, along Lake Erie and Lake Huron, which is why so many crows flock to the city. About 10 years ago, the municipality estimated they had 20 million crows at any given time. It was then that they partnered with BCI, Bird Control International, specializing in bird mass removal. We chased them with, uh, uh, with hawks, falcons, eagles. We, we did some shooting, not too much. We used pyrotechnics, we used distress call tapes, whatever made their life miserable. Even though the crow population is down by 19 million birds over the last 10 years, residents here still have mixed feelings on the problem. I think they're excessive. Uh, people are feeding them too much garbage and I think if we can't poison them we should uh, maybe use them for target practice. I guess the crow situation is about the same as every year. There's a few too many. doesn't seem as many. To me anyway. I don't know. Unless they're in the north end of town. I live in the south end. I don't uh, see it as bad as it was where I live. What they don't get used to is that you fly a bird. They can't figure out that a, a bird of prey and a human work together. Lately, Ulrich has been using a secret weapon, a bird he affectionately refers to as Frankenbird. He is the first one ever of his species, of his kind. He is a half Harris hawk and half golden eagle. This hybrid has been trained to set his focus solely on crows. The crows, they see him, they, they will leave anywhere half a mile around him, they clear out. We simply let the birds know you're not welcome here anymore. Ulrich says the crows need to be pushed 20 miles past municipal boundaries. He reports that Woodstock now has an increasing crow problem that will need to be dealt with. Uh, but one thing is for sure, the, the moment we, nothing is being done, the birds will come back, you know, in large numbers. Chris Campbell, CTV News, Chatham.